What's up guys, my name's Keegan from Name Race Class and uh, welcome back or welcome myself back or yeah, something like that. I have been gone a while, I've been sick, I've been vacationing, I've had break, whatever you want to know. And I've just been out of practice and uh, this is my uh, first episode. It's, no, it's not going to be Mario. Fuck that game right now. I'm not going to do my first video back from my vacation playing that damn ass game. Uh, but we, what we are going to play is um, a newer game that I think I'm going to continuously play on the channel because we've been doing a lot of more Mario stuff and I might take a little bit of break from doing that. I'm not sure. Maybe I will go back to Mario. I have no idea what the plan is with this, but I saw this game. It was on the winter sale on Steam. Um, they are selling it. I think retail price is like 30 bucks, twenty ninety nine. Plus tax, which is probably 32 But I think this, for that sale, was around 10 bucks, which was really decent. I also got this. I got the uh, Zero Escape games, which I am going to definitely do on this channel. Um, I just finished the first game by myself, so I know what I'm doing. But the second game, I might put in a walkthrough in the first game. And that's our, um, not a walkthrough, but like just a playthrough and show you guys like the novel stuff uh i'm not sure what i'm doing with that either it's going to be that or it's going to be somebody else besides me but they're going to be at my place uh with my recording setup uh recording uh a run through of the honor games and oh my gosh it's such a good series uh 999 so far blew me away um it was great and i had a lot of fun it burnt me the heck out though there's the story itself is a puzzle, and I really like that. Um, this game, however, is apparently um, about rich story and making decisions, and that's what I got from this game. And I was like, okay, it's like ten bucks. Let's see how it goes. It looks pretty fun. I mean, uh, right off the bat, we got um, uh, a knife on the front. Uh, candles got an eerie. Um, mood to it um episodes okay interesting downloadable content what the heck is this hide and seek library oh okay Okay, I guess that all downloaded. I don't. Um, hmm. I don't know. Interesting. That's weird. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so I guess there are episodes. I guess this was like a series or something. I don't know a lot about it. I didn't really hear a lot about it. Maybe I did. It kind of seemed familiar, but let's just go into it. Okay. Oh. Okay. There we go. I hope this is not too loud recording. I've been a little, out of, a little bit out of practice. So hopefully this is not too loud for you guys. I apologize. Oh, gosh. Stop! Oh. You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair of my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into.
Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational. And open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Bombarchard! Bombarchard! Hmm? Listen! Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Oh, we get... <laughs> Oh, okay, uh, that just goes right into that. Um, first thing that I don't know if you guys, like, knew, but the mouths move kind of weird. The design of this game and, like, the art design is really good, but, like, the mouth move is, like, kind of strange. Uh... I mean, he's right in front of us. Huh. Oh, I gotta pick one. Uh, I don't... <laughs> um... So it's like a Telltale game. Interesting. I don't know. I'm gonna trust her. She's she, Mama Bear. Be my guest, Mother. Mm. Ah. Oh... Done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you yeah, feel, Mother? Who is really weird. Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, um... Good-looking game. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer? And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. Oh, boy. Episode 1, The Mad Ones. 
Yeah, so I guess it is like a tell game. I'm wondering if it's because it's 30 bucks now, like the they like. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed oops. to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some yeah, long lost that's mystical that's object that's that you just can't that's live that's without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh no, we have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good, sir. What brings you here? Now they fixed the, um, the lip movie. It was weird before. I don't know why. So what I was saying before, they cut me off, uh, re or f <laughs> mother flippers, um, is I think they put out, like, episodes you paid for, like, each episode, kind of like how they've done with other games. Uh, like the Telltale series, uh, but, hmm, interesting. Uh, I guess what brings you here, personal reason, business with Lord Marmol. I mean, it's not really a lie. Lord Mortimer yeah, asked really me to lying. join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man. Because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. That would be rude. Even though, like, she looks pretty decent, uh, or looks beautiful, I, uh, don't really want to get on anybody's bad side. So, yeah. Makes no sense to turn it back to, like, question. That's right. Until now, I've never been invited by the Oh, I see. You're you gonna turn the question asked about her forget. instead. Given what I've seen so far, I wish I'd been passed over. I think he's like Come, a or something. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A duchess? I wonder if oh, all the cardinal. guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Uh. Are you all right? It's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother! No! Don't! Don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you... if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But... I trusted you. No, Sarah! Don't! No! No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for what you've done. <sighs> What the hell? You. Uh, Louis, are you alright? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. 
Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. Huh. It's getting late. Why don't why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes! I'm I'm sorry. I'm sure yes. Fine. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely huh. need to find you, Mother. That's weird. Huh. Interesting. What the? Oh, whoa. These controls are really weird. Show you guys the options really quick. Camera sensitivity. Let's try this. Try that. Right, that's fine. Okay, I guess there's not many options. Huh. That's weird. He just stops. Huh. I don't know. Oh, that's how you run. Okay. Anything special? Nope. Really beautiful game. Um, best explanation does or theory on what just happened? Like, it's more of a memory thing, where like she I don't, I don't know I don't hmm I don't know what really happened. That's weird. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Ooh. <gasps> oh, that's cool. Okay, I, I did not predict that. Oh, we get classes. Okay. Diplomat. Shines in society, a talented speaker. He avoids... I don't know how to say it. Fucks pass? <laughs> Sounds like fuck pass. <laughs> he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. Ooh. Okay, skills, politics, etiquette, linguist, conviction, diversion. Skills, manipulation, occultism, education, science, subterfuge. Okay, occultist is master perception. Convinced of the importance of knowledge, he has acquired extensive expert in science and arts, using others to achieve his own ends. Does not bother him. Ooh. Questioning, vigilance, psychology, agility, logic. Protective excels on investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings. As well as people he is questioning. Hands on, man. He's not shy. Um. Playing off my own personality, I would probably choose. The detective? Or a cultist? Rather than diplomat? No, I choose all three. But the one that went straight to me and my first instinct is what I'm gonna go with is the detective. I saw that and that's what I'm gonna go with. Oh, can I go back? Oh, it shows me. Oh. Oh, I already got things in that. Interesting. Oh, can you do multiples of these? Huh. Hmm. That unlikes- oh, I love dialogue options, that's good. Oh, they all do. Okay. Hmm. 
Hmm. Whatever I well, chose it, I'm over the last few years, I've solved a number of crime cases. Like the Chauffeur d'Angers, for example. Thieves that tortured their victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Interesting, so I could lie to her. Or I could tell her the truth. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please, stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No. Sorry, I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Okay, interesting. Effort points, what the flip are for? <laughs> Alright, uh, interjunctions are great. Okay, to access the skill required to the this situation, you need to have it unlocked. Interesting. Uh, okay. Oh! I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Ooh, okay, personality. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Review immunities and vulnerabilities in the journal tab in the menu. Push enter to access. I think that's an enter. Yeah, I wouldn't be the kid to action menu pages. So you can. Oh, I can't do it right now. Okay. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? <sighs> You'll see, Louis. Everybody oh. here knows Sarah de Richet. Oh, there we go. Inventory. I found myself as you know, I invited your mother. Okay, so that's just that. Journal. Munigy logic to be discovered. Melody is an English duchess close to the English crown. Okay. Very discreet about her origins. Emily only came onto the political scene after her wedding that some qualified as a marriage of interest to an old English aristocrat on the decline. Libertarian, modern, but discreet. She has taken it upon herself to establish close ties with her peers. And a few years ago, she has become the favorite diplomat of the queen, which is what probably prompted her prime minister, William Penn, take her as a private secretary thus provoking much suspicion and jealousy as a visitor emily accepted sir gregory home citation blah blah 
So she is immune to logic. Uh, oh, this is me. Okay. Only son of Sarah Albus born de Rich as a young per Parisian aristocrat. Oh gosh, there's so many people. Okay. Uh, ever since he was a young child, has moved to his mother's circles. Uh, his 14th birthday he entered the Golden Order. Secret Society headed by Sarah. Sarah progressed quickly at her side despite the daily treatment his mother prescribed for, uh, for his chronic migraine. Ooh, powers. Ha. That's what that migraine was. Okay. He climbed the ladder until he was able to assist his mother in the cold cases. Huh. Interesting. And this guy is... Okay. Uh, just here, speaker. We have science, philosophy. Okay, interesting. And that's our mother. The most important society, the Golden Circle. Mm -hmm. So, okay, interesting. So that's our skills. Interesting. Talents, traits, detective, trusting. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Oh, maybe it's like foresight. That might be as a thing. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions. And effects as they offer. Wait, you can view their. Um, yeah. You can know their unlock conditions? Oh. Okay. Reach level. Oh, okay. Interesting. Um. Since this is my first playthrough, I'm not going to try to go for perfect. <laughs> uh, I might have to go for perfect later, but definitely not now. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Oh. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But Sir may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island, and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps mm. sir's mother was here. Skills. Your skills, you. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions, at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost of effort points. Okay. And, did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir, on the wooden part of the wharf. What type of damage? Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could Mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials 
S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the war for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I... I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but... Invited by your master. No, of course, but... Because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please, I... And having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. I must wow, return. Wow, I feel like a... There's still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Oh, so a wharf is like a dock? Ah, oh, when invisible walls stop you. Barrel's been broken for quite some time. Oh, whoa. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, wait. Great, honey. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on. So hold up for a second, man. Okay. So. Okay, so I just I just have her handkerchief now. I can't investigate it. Okay. So there's two of her points. So those are the effort points, okay. That's nice to know. Logic and questioning. Servants. Servants, all Mormon servants wear a mask. It is a recurring subject. Okay. So just need to use logic and questioning. That's nice. Without being seen from 300 meters away. Alright. So considering I can look around A sack of seeds. Now. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Ooh. Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. This might just come in handy. I don't know why, but okay. Uh, yeah. What is an iron bar, dude? Do I have, like, a set amount? I do have a set amount of inventory space. Or maybe I don't. I don't know. Okay. Well, guys, uh, thank you for joining me for episode one of the council. I am going to continue this, because this has me intrigued. I, uh, don't really know what to expect from it. Um... But I will be shooting out these episodes as uh, quick as I can. Well, not as quick as I can. I'll do them out evenly, I should say. But uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, go like, subscribe, uh, comment. Yeah, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, what else am I forgetting? Follow. Support. Stuff like that for NRC. Name race class. And I will see you guys in the next video.